have a, a remarkable history on how you became a head coach and, and your history in coaching altogether. Can you share with the audience, you know, how you got your start? Yeah, so uh, it's kind of funny. So I was actually, I was training to play, uh, to play. Uh, I was trying to play, get, I was trying to get a hardship to play a fifth year, um, fifth year eligibility. Um, you know, when contacted the coach, what well, was going to come as a walk on to a school up in Maine. And um, I was working out at uh, Miami Central. I lived uh, a couple blocks away. Um, and the hardship got denied by the NCAA and fell through. So uh, the coach at the time, you know, the head coach at the time, he had known that, known that the hardship had fallen through. And uh, he asked me if I could stay on, you know, and help out the staff and coach. And um, I really hadn't previously thought much about coaching. Uh, but I decided, you know, give it a shot. That was 20, that was the, the spring of 2010. So fall of 2010 was my first season. Um, ended up, you know, I had a six year uh, run there on that staff, uh, Miami Central. I was there for in 2010 when the school won their first state championship. Um, and then 2011, we lost in the, uh, in the state championship to Stephano Armwood. And then we had the four peak from um, 2012, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, and then I transitioned, I, I took an out-of-state position. I transitioned up to a school, the Hearst High School in New York. Um, I was up there with, uh, um, you know, with them for, for a year and then uh, came back down to Miami um, and ended up falling into the, you know, the head coaching job at, at West. I actually got hired at Westland um, to run the special ed department. And then there was a vacancy and I kind of just, you know, slid into the role. Yeah, that's amazing that also the, the fact that you took over, you took over and that school, which was, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you, was considered a laughing stock. You know, the, even the Herald did articles on them, you know, that they just couldn't win a football game. I think they, they scored one touchdown the first game at one point of one of their seasons. It was a couple seasons ago, three seasons ago, and then they didn't score another touchdown to the end of the season, you know, to becoming the, you know, going to the Independence League Championship game and you becoming head coach of the year. Uh, what kind of work did you have to put into to make to turn that school from basically a worst of first uh, type of program? Um, a lot. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's a it's a constant constant grind. Um, it's a lot of a lot of aspects of the game, a lot of facets. It's you know, it's um, the weight room. You know, getting stronger. Um, you know, getting well conditioned. Uh, speed, agility, knowledge of the game, um, you know, and then fine tuning just, you know, specific positions. Uh, I try to, I try to have very little kids play both ways. I really don't like anyone to play both ways. I like, you know, one way players because I think that um, you can fine tune yourself a lot more, um, you know, certain situations, certain games, you know, you want your best 11 on the field, but, um, you know, I think my staff does a really good job at, at coaching kids up. Um, so we, we really try to have, the, the student athletes, you know, focus kind of on one position and master and they, you know, they need to know, be very knowledgeable and everything about the position um, as well as, you know, be able to perform on the field. Uh, so one, I mean, one of the things that, that we try to, we try to really like prod ourselves on is, you know, one of our, our young men, you know, goes to on a visit, some kind of visit, goes to see a school that they're going to be impressed by his knowledge of the game, you know, um, and I always tell them to, you know, if they're ever talking to coaches, let them know, like, listen, my verbiage might be different, but, you know, we, we speak the same language. 